everybody. It's Hillary here from Dream Unlocked on a uh, rainy, dreary morning here in LA. I love it. It's sunny and oppressive every day. So I'm so happy. Um, yesterday, I said I was going to go on live today to talk to you all about pilot season. I've been getting a lot of questions um, in the surveys and also through private coaching about it. So I just wanted to touch base with you and um, just give you some thoughts going into pilot season. So here's the deal. Pilot season is this sort of um, legendary time that we hear about that all these actors are running around town, changing in their cars, having four or five auditions a day and uh, you and testing and, and you know it's important because if you book one of these jobs, it's like winning the lottery, right? Can change your life. If you end up on a show that's a hit, that runs for 15 years and you're making that Mark Herman money, okay? Here's the thing though. Most actors are not participating in pilot season. And I'm not saying that to say that it's not going to happen. I'm not saying that to discourage you. I'm letting you know that the reality is that that's happening for about 200, 250 actors for various reasons. Right now, the market is very, very fragmented. So, um, it's there's a ton of content out there but there are not there, there's the same amount of audience so it's even more competitive to be able to get eyeballs to watch your program that is why all of these shows are going after the same three or four actors okay because those actors have a following they have a history and what they want is to have those actors attract an audience. It used to be that if you attached yourself to one pilot, that was it. It's shifting now that you can have a pilot in first position, a pilot in second position, a pilot in third position. So the same actor can be attached to a pilot on NBC, ABC, Netflix, and Amazon. And it used to be that they wouldn't tolerate that guy here. Um, if you are joining me, please post in the comments. I wanna see who you are. So, so this is why pilot season has gotten even more fraught. It used to be a couple of months. Now, then it kind of shifts down to six weeks. Now it's really all happening in two or three weeks. What I will say to you is don't worry about if you have positioned yourself to be one of that pool of actors who's going to be rocking it in pilot season or not. This is what I want you to think about. There's, a, there's an actress um, named Audrey Moore who talks about this all the time on her podcast, but pilot season is really the Olympics of acting, okay? So if you were a, an athlete who ran the 100 meter dash, would you expect to do a couple of workouts the week before Olympic trials and then be ready to compete at an Olympic level? Because if that's what you expect, then you're going to be very disappointed because the people who are coming there to compete have been working towards this goal for years. They've been putting in the work on the track for years. They have been working with the top coaches. They have the best equipment. They have worked on their technique day in and day out. So when they get to the pressure point, which are the races, the technique is automatic for them. They don't have to think about it. They just have to execute it. We should be approaching the Olympics of acting with the same attitude. So what I want you to do is not think about competing in the Olympics. I want you to think about preparing for the Olympics. Do you have an excellent memorization technique? Real talk, during pilot season, if you are going in for really four to five shows a day, 
it is not an exaggeration that you will be given 60 pages to memorize. 60 pages. Often those sides are going to come in 6.30, 7 o'clock. So you're going to have to read the script because it's, it's a brand new show, so you don't know what the tone is. Maybe if it's a writer with some history or if it's based on a book or something, you might understand what, um, you might have a little bit more knowledge. Um, hi, Nicole. Hi, Erica. Thanks for joining me. Um, you might have a little more knowledge, but the bottom line is you're going to need to read the pilot. You're going, all of those pilots, so if you're going in for four, you're going to have to read four scripts. You're going to have to memorize the sides from all of those pilots. That could very easily be 60 pages. People lose their minds during pilot season. They freak out. They have nervous breakdowns because of the sheer volume of the work. So again, you're not going to go. It doesn't make sense for you to go to the Olympics just cold. You've got to work on the technique now. So are you using the nine times fast memorization technique? If you need a refresher on that, April has shared a ton of free videos on exactly how that works, about a quick way to learn your lines cold. Do you have knowledge of what you look like on camera, what your habits are, what is effective, what isn't? Do you have a self tape area set up. Anthony says, I'm looking for, I'm looking good writing a four part movie that's based on my memoirs. That's great. Yes. Do you, if you, but and we're talking about pilot season, I will get back to that, Anthony. But listen, the bottom line is this is the Olympics of acting. So make sure that you've got your technique together. If you are not good at script analysis, do you need to get in a class? Do you need to take the 12 step MFA that goes into breaking down this process of how you look at sides? Do you need to work on your audition technique? Do you, do you put yourself on tape? If you go on the Dream Unlocked website, if you are a member, there is an entire page right there that is, that is full of sides. It's full of sides from real shows that are either casting, have been cast, whatever. Go on the website, practice memorizing sides, and practice putting yourself on tape. You should have an easy self-tape area set up in your house. I have a place in my room where I am right now where I just pull a curtain across. I have a background that's already ready. I have my light set up that's easy to do. So I'm not panicking. I'm not thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this done? But it, whether you have an audition or not, if you know that you need to get in the habit of memorizing sides, of getting used to working in front of the camera, and really being able to critique yourself, not with a judgmental eye, but with an eye that is looking at, did I tell the story or did I not tell the story? Was it clear? This is about clarity of storytelling, okay? Because that's what separates the men from the boys in this business. There are a lot of people that are very talented, that have raw talent, that are beautiful or interesting looking on camera. But it, the, the way that you get the job is by being able to tell the story that the writer put on the page, everybody, okay? So again, backing up, you need to work on your technique today and, and get yourself ready, get yourself competition ready. So that day when you do get the shot at the Olympics, you're ready to rock it. All right. Uh, this for my 12 steppers, my 12 step, um, how to be a working TV actor. You have been getting all of these tools over the past six months. So we've talked all about fi figuring out what your emotional type is. We've talked about how to nurture and grow and have effective communication in your professional relationships, whether that's with casting, whether that's with your managers, whether that's with other colleagues that you would like to be working with in the business. So 
Um, we've also talked about how to break down a script. We've also talked about those kinds of marketing tools that we all should be using. Here's the other thing about being in the Olympics of acting. We are always so excited to work on the art, but you've got to be, remember that this is a business. For any business, 30% of the income that that business takes in should go directly back into marketing. So let's think about that. Are you doing that for your own business? Are you investing in your website? Is How are your pictures? Do you have the appropriate clothes? Do you have the appropriate lighting kit? If you have to put yourself on tape, do you have a good mic? Is there an app, maybe if you're using your phone, that you can add to your phone that's going to make the quality of your tapes that much better? This is the Olympics. This is the best of the best. The people who are working, it's not because they are more talented than you. It is not because they are more talented than you. It's because they're treating their career like a business. And it doesn't mean that there aren't gonna be up times and down times because we all know that's just the life of the actor, right? There are gonna be, there are gonna be shallows and there are gonna be highs. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who have made consistent, consistent investments in their career and they have treated it like a business. They've taken care of their marketing. They've taken care of their pictures. They've taken care of their website. They are nurturing and communicating effectively with their team. If they need to lose weight, gain weight, get a nutritionist, they're doing it. If they need a publicist, they're making the investment to get a publicist, all right? These are all the things that people that you see on TV and you think, oh man, they're just killing it. That, you know, it must be so great. They're working their asses off. They're working their asses off. Make no mistake, make no mistake. They are working so hard. They have invested so much time, money, an effort into being at the top of their game. So when they get to the Olympic trials, they're able to execute. Okay. So do we have any more questions just from those of you who have been, I see the numbers keep popping in and out. Any questions that are coming up specifically about things to think about, questions about pilot season, about how to prep, um, or even how to just have a conversation with your agent or resources that you should be looking at. This is what I do. I look at deadline every day. Leading up to pilot season, if it's not here now, it will be soon. There's always a section on deadline that's called pilot season panic. This is a section of deadline that is going to list all of the networks and it lists all of the shows that are in development and it will show you okay this show is in development and then it will change the status once the show gets picked up it will change the status uh to show if it's casting if there's any major casting attached to it it will also list there what who has been attached to the individual show and then it will tell you uh and and this goes from now all the way through may when there are upfronts and the final schedules of each of each network are being decided again you've got to look at this not to make yourself crazy not to think like oh my gosh look this, this person's attached to this one and this one and this one it's not fair why does so and so have this and why do i why do i not it's not about that it's so you can look at what is in the market right now what's in the market right now what do they need is this a year that they need someone like me or is this a year that I should expect that it's going to maybe be a little bit more challenging to get jobs because I don't have this kind of footage or I haven't been seen playing this kind of character. I could play that kind of character. Okay, so then what do I do now? Do I need to take new pictures? Maybe I need to get myself some footage. There's a big hole in my own reel right now, I just realized, for a, a type of role that I know I can play but I haven't had the opportunity to play it. And I'm not 
going to get the opportunity unless I take control of that. So right now I am looking for some sides that fit this type of role so I can go on my own and tape some footage, cut it together and add it to my reel. So when my agents pitch me, they can say, see, this is the type of role that we're going for. We know that she can play it, here's some footage. I'm solving that problem for myself. I'm not waiting for the market or my agents or anybody else to just give me a chance. I know what I can do better than anyone else. Just as you know what you can do better than anyone else. If you don't, you better get curious and start investigating all of that. So again, these tools that I'm mentioning, it's not for you to obsess over what everybody else has and what you don't have yet. That's not the point. It doesn't help you. It doesn't serve you because we all have, this business is about ebb and flow. We all have our times when things are going great, when we're crushing it, and times that are quiet. And the times that are quiet, it's a great opportunity to rest. It's a great opportunity for you to get back to basics, to your technique, to your auditioning, to your script analysis, to sitting down and reading some plays, to getting curious, to turning inward. Uh, April has been sharing all of these great classes on dreaming out loud. Are you ready to transform your career? Are you ready to start a new career? Are you ready to change your life? Do you want to know what's out there, what the possibilities are? Then start looking into that program. She's offered, I think, four or five free classes right now. Take advantage of these things. April and I and Justine are here because we spent too long in struggle. And we don't want that for you guys. We want you to benefit from the things that we've learned from our time in the business. And so please take advantage of those free classes. Please respond to the survey so we know the best way to serve all of you with the experience that we've gained over the years. Hi, Wana. Thanks for joining. All right, so I'm signing off now. I have a client that's coming up. Make sure that you post your comments. Also. For my 12-steppers, you got to use those forums. Make sure that you are reaching out to me on the page. Make sure that you are engaging with the weekly weapons because, again, I need to know what's working for you, what's clear for you in the lessons, and maybe what you need more clarification on. But I don't know that if you don't tell me. All right, friends? All right. Have a blessed, safe day, safe weekend, and I will be back next week with more answers to your questions. Thank you.